Newton's Laws of Motion by Isha Kandalu Ramanathan Ever wonder why things move the way they do? Maybe Newton's Laws of Motion can help you answer this question. Sir Isaac Newton, father of modern physics, is one of the greatest influential scientists who formulated three laws of motion. These laws help us understand how objects behave when they are standing still, when they are moving, and when forces act upon them. Let's learn Newton's laws of motion with the help of some cool experiments. We shall start with the first law. The first law states that an object at rest will stay at rest and an object in motion will keep moving unless an external force acts upon it. Let me demonstrate. First, we have inertia beads kept inside a container. If I tug the string and let go, it will keep moving unless an external force like me blocks it. For the next experiment, we need a ruler, a piece of cloth, and a water bottle. Place the bottle on top of the cloth and hit the cloth with the ruler. As you can see, the water bottle did not move. This is because I applied force on the cloth and not on the bottle. Now on to the second law. This law states that an object with less mass or more force gets more acceleration. The formula used for Newton's second law is force is equal to mass times acceleration. Let me explain this law with an experiment. I have two cars tied to each other with an elastic band. The yellow car has less mass and the silver car has more mass. Which one do you think will move faster? Can you guess? If your answer is the yellow car, you are right. Because if the mass of an object is less, the acceleration or movement of the object will be more. Now for the third law. This law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. I will explain the law using Newton's cradle. When a ball on one end is pulled back and let go, it swings into the other ball. The ball on the opposite end then swings up with an equal force to the first ball bearing. The force of the first ball causes an equal and opposite reaction to the ball at the other end. We apply all these laws in our day-to-day -day life, playing hockey, riding a car, even simply taking a walk are all examples of Newton's laws of motion. Although these three laws were written down more than 300 years ago, they are still important now for understanding the way things move. I hope you enjoyed learning about Newton's three laws of motion. Thanks for watching!